Live. Let's go to a guest who is joining us. Uh, we have with us S. Venkateshwara Sharma, former ISTO Deputy Director, live with us, uh, joining us. And thank you for joining us here on Republic TV. This is, uh, this is a very big event, the Anvesha Satellite. Anvesha is a hyper-spectral satellite developed by the DRDO. And, uh, you know, th these are some technical words which I'm using, uh, Mr. Sharma. If you can help our viewers understand what the satellite is all about and how it really helps uh, push collaboration between ISRO and the DRDO. Uh, good morning to you and uh, the million uh, years of uh, um, the public. Uh, it is extremely happy and it is a good day for uh, the country and uh, in large and ISRO in particular. This is the first launch for uh, 2026. Uh, look, we have uh, three big takeaways from this particular launch. We must necessarily see this. And of course, the first one, uh, the foremost one is the Anvesha satellite. This satellite, Anvesha, was jointly built with, by DRDO and ISRO, where ISRO made the what we call it as a PERS system, where power, electronics, controls, uh, sensors, actuators, everything is, uh, you know, assembled and along with the solar panels uh, as a bus system and the payload was designed, developed and uh, tested by the, uh, you know, DRDO as a joint collaboration. Of course, wherever the help was required in terms of, uh, uh, you know, helping them, uh, DRDO test, etc. was done by ISRO, the one major, you know, uh, milestone. And uh, continuing with Anvesha, uh, this satellite is very unique satellite. There are several satellites in orbit which are optical satellites which are, uh, you know, uh, mainly for uh, day imaging satellite. But this uh, particular satellite is uh, different from the, uh, you know, um, the, the optical imaging where uh, optical imaging is restricted to VIPGAYAR type of, uh, you know, a spectrum. But this uh, also ca can have the, the extended, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, bandwidth of uh, uh, the imaging where infrared and uh, ultraviolet etc are also coming into picture the biggest advantage is that the resolution at which which it can see and also the detailing at which which can see what eyes cannot see this can see and uh, this has a very big advantage in terms of the strategic sector where uh, movement of uh, the tanks etc where the soil condition whether the soil is loose or uh, maneuvering the um, uh, uh, tanks uh, in the area, uh, what we call it as uh, the mapping for movement of the tanks in the safer area so that uh, the tanks doesn't get stuck, etc. And also if the tank, uh, tanks have to cross the uh, river, then the conditions of the river, the depth of uh, the uh, uh, water, and then the condition of uh, the soil uh, below the thing and the safety and security of the, um, the movement of the strategic activities in the sea as well as the land is important. And also this can also detect many, you know, hidden uh, th things in the forest or also in the desert, etc. We say, for example, if a landmine is uh, planted, uh, you know, it can easily detect and ensure that uh, the path is avoided by the strategic uh, moving artilleries, etc. So, this is one major thing for uh, the strategic sector. As far as uh, the um, non-strategic sector uh, is concerned, civilian sector is one extremely important from the point of view of the disaster management, where it can study the uh, soil conditions and also it can study the various uh, you know changing uh, changes happening on the earth's surface which is going to ha help really very well and this anvesha satellite is going to be one of the uh, you know wanted satellite uh, hyper uh, hyperspectral uh, satellite which is required for the country for both civilian as well as the, the strategic sector this is the first takeaway second takeaway is the 14 other satellites which are going to be launched by uh, the by this rocket that C-62, it is the 64th uh, you know, PSLV launch vehicle and the, uh, the one, one satellite is from UK, SSTL uh, UK and five satellites are from Druva Aerospace, uh, a startup company. Please look at uh, the way the startups are coming out with satellites which are going to help uh, manage the resources in the country and the remaining uh, satellite, out of remaining satellites, five are from a Brazilian satellite as a commercial basis. Uh, one satellite is from uh, Lakshmagnan Pit, uh, which is uh, going to demonstrate the refueling, another important activity done by a startup satellite. And uh, in all, 14 plus 1, 15 satellite for commercial is another big takeaway from this launch. Third and most important is also the uh, the PSLV vehicle itself, which is the 64th uh, launch, and C62 is the 64th uh, launch vehicle. And uh, this uh, launch vehicle PSLV, the workhorse, is uh, being completely uh, fabricated, tested, and uh, made, uh, you know, launch ready by the private agencies, uh, by public sector and the private agencies like HAL, LNT, in consortium with other industries. Uh, and this is very big requirement in terms of Atman Ribarta also. If you see in all, 
all the three big takeaways are a big step forward towards atman nirbharta from the point of view that 2047 honorable prime minister has announced that it is going to be we should have a self sufficiency of course this is going to be one of the very big requirement in terms of how we achieving self sufficiency in the you know launch vehicle satellite and the related activities and this is one very big step forward and we look forward continuously to ensure that you know more satellite of anvesha this is one of the series that is going to be launched and more satellites are going to follow and with yes. all that then Yeah. Uh, you know network will be made over Mi- to you mr mr sharma i know i'm really glad that you uh, spoke about you just said that this is just the first of the many first of many because uh, this is isro's first major orbital mission of 2026 and this is just a first step towards the many accomplishments that isro will show the world mr sharma yes yeah of course yes and I, I, there are two you know i said uh, this is one of the first is for anvesha also there are going to be series of anvesha satellites which are going to be made which are really important from the point of view that we need such similar satellites for coverage over the country and the extended boundaries to ensure that the security and safety of the country is ensured and we are safe from the you know anti you know social elements etc is one very important thing second thing is also that india is moving towards you know gaganyaan launch in 2026 and 2027 isro is preparing to launch maybe in the first quarter of 2026 the first launch without the you know astronauts but uh, there are three successful successive launches are required to you know before we launch the astronaut you know astronauts are trained and uh, you know they are ready and the first launch probably will happen before march and the next two launches if it happens in 2026 and the biggest you know expectation that in 2027 you know india Uh, in large isro in particular will launch three astronauts into space is something which is uh, anticipated and also as i said the atman nirbharta what is being planned isro is extremely extremely serious and they are working very seriously on this and by 2035 we must have our own the bharat space station is something what has been planned and by 2040 india should land uh, you know um, astronauts on the moon and should plan for colonization and also is something which isro is very seriously working upon in terms of making igloos and making the structures for uh, which can sustain in mars as well as uh, the moon of course uh, the challenges are many and i'm sure that uh, the type of resilience we have the type of technical expertise we have and support we have from government of india Uh, 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 led by honorable prime minister modi i am sure that nothing is impossible for this country to achieve and i think that is the confidence that we should give it to this country and the students that yeah, you know, no, what nobody can do we can do that has been demonstrated in chandrayaan 1 um, uh, mars orbit mission chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 yeah, and also awesome the surya and that confidence say, should be given to the no children ago, say that and, uh, this country and, uh, this student no projects you know, and more success in 2026 thank you uh, mr sharma former iso deputy director